Marius. You work super hard to get him, but he's definitely worth it. So let's see how strong Marius is. First off, let's kick it off by showing you guys the specific pieces of gear. We're basically looking for speed and damage as well as some accuracy. We're going to go over the skills and the kits pretty soon here. Uh, notice how a lot of these things or a lot of these pieces of gear aren't fully maxed out in terms of ascension. On top of that, I still have yet to rework some of the gear here, but we have speed with HP percent. That's okay. And then I have to max these out, fully enchant these out as well. I'm going to change this to crit damage. Can I change it right now? Hold up. Let me see. Can we rework? Can we get, can we get a, can we get a crit damage? Can we get some crit damage in here, please? Some crit damage. Last one, crit damage, calling it. There we go, we got the crit damage. We can still max that out as well. These are his stats. We were focusing mainly on defense and having 100% crit rate and crit damage with some HP attacks, not gonna do anything for him. And then speed, I want him to go even faster. AoE on the A1 with a 50% chance when booked to place in Feeble. Feeble makes it so that anybody with this debuff can only weak hit. This also applies for placing debuffs. So if Armand has Enfeeble on himself and he tries to do his A2, well, guess what? It weak hits, it's not going to stun. Uh, I don't know if it takes the turn meter still. I, I don't remember, but I know that um, stunning doesn't work. So, and, and we might even see that a few times because we're gonna do live arena with him. So we'll see. Now I'm gonna talk about his A2, but we usually start with the A3 when it comes to Marius. Places increased accuracy, and increase defense again he's a defense based champion so he's already tanky with this increased defense buff he's even tankier and also hits harder this is for three turns he's placing it on all allies then he places a stun on the enemy with the highest turn meter to prevent them from taking a turn it's very useful and finally it grants an extra turn which we can then roll into the a2 this is on a four turn cooldown but more like three turns because it gets the extra turn mechanic in his A2 is an AoE 3 hitter, with each hit decreasing the duration of all enemy buffs by one turn. This is an EMHP move, so he's going to hit hard against bosses or anybody who has a lot of HP, just like Newt does. And Newt is also a triple hitter, so if you don't have a second Newt, well guess what? You've got Marius now. Uh, you know, it's not exactly... Technically he's a free champion, but he's not the easiest to get. It's going to take a while for you to get him, to be honest. Now, this is a 3 turn cooldown whenever you book him up and this right here the decrease of duration of the enemy buffs is a lot different than strips or removal so strips and removals will proc blessings sheep but decreased duration isn't going to this is very much almost pr practically the same realm as timid the fool i really like this his passive champion is immune to turn meter reduction effects so lydia for example and decrease speed Whenever an enemy changes form or attempts to decrease this champion's turn meter, counterattacks using this champion's default skill. So he's great against mythical champions. And anytime he tries, or anytime, I said he, when Armand tries to take turn meter from Marius, I guess this kind of answers my earlier question, then he's going to counterattack using his A1. And then of course he's got to get that big, fat 35% increase to all defense and all battles. Pretty good base speed and other base stats here with the extra res. Uh, some champions like Nukers get the extra crit damage from the get-go, but yeah, so awesome champion. I've even taken my unkillable team out and I just put this team together using Marius with all of his enemy max HP moves, plus with uh, the ally attack from both Mikage and Cardio, I'm able to one key Ultra Nightmare. And of, of course I'm gonna be able to like do quite a bit to Nightmare as well, 117. And let's just go ahead and see what we're gonna do on Brutal with this same team here. Quick battle. How much is Marius gonna do? 68 mil by himself. And of course, you know, Cardiel's no slouch either. I have him built for damage, but yeah. Okay, so here we are about 30 minutes into this fight with Marius. And I gotta say, replacing Newt with Marius has been a pretty good decision i think because i don't think on this account i haven't been able to get past 262 and it looks like we're still healthy so we're on uh, again we're on nightmare like i i said but with marius here and all of his aoe's doing work it, it's just smashing through 
the Hydra heads even after the nerf. And this is a lot more than Newt was ever able to do because Newt single targets the uh, enemy max HP moves. But I mean, look at that. I mean, on the he the decapitated the decapitated heads, that's like oh, 600,000 per hit. And Marius is just taking turn after turn, especially with Enfeeble. Actually, uh, Enfeeble, sorry, I was thinking about the Enfeeble thing, but uh, you don't see Enfeeble on the bosses. But it's just crazy the amount of damage that Marius is doing. Uh, this is going to break my record. This this breaks my record here. And we're about to hit the turn limit. So, definitely a good decision. Marius is just a huge boost to my account. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. I don't even know how to improve uh, through here. Uh, and the decrease buff duration is phenomenal. Luckily, we also have Michinaki, but this kind of uh, adds on top of it to give another layer of removing any of the buffs that they happen to steal or put up. Uh, it, it's not... I haven't worried about anything. And this is just... It just keeps on going. It sucks that the nerf happened, so I can't really ever see his true potential. Oh my god, dude. Marius is straight giving multitudes of back shots. It's a ditty party in here. Extra P. Straight violation. He is impaling them from all angles, deep throating the Hydra necks to the point that they explode. Brutalization. Getting horse dicked down by Marius. This this horse fucks, dude. Oh my god. This broke my Nightmare Hydra score. And the funny thing is, as of this recording, um, he's not even fully maxed out yet. Like, I haven't optimized his gear. I haven't fully enchanted a lot of things. Like, I just kind of threw him in a uh, nine-piece Slayer, and it's, it's amazing what he's doing. And here we go. Here we go. Five turns left. Let's see. Let's see if we can uh, bang out 350. Can we get 350? Is that asking for too much? That's probably asking for too much, huh? Bro, they nerfed us, <laughs> but I threw Marius in, and it's like I, I buffed my own Hydra team. Dude, Marius is absolutely cracked, dude. Is that the term that the kids are using today? Cracked? 240 million damage just from Marius alone, and he's not even anywhere close to being maxed out yeah. and look at this charm has got marius in here too uh he's got him five star ascended as well but like that he's doing 426 that's crazy let me let me add let me add marius to this list over here Hold, oh he's already on the list and then boom look at that hydra nightmare 341 new personal best and um i know there's a lot of people who do a lot more but it, it's 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 cool for me because it's a new record for me and I kind of just want to see how uh, Marius versus Narcissus is going to go. So let's go ahead and just see what happens. Oh, we stun him. Damn, the king. Felled by a horse. All right, I'm looking for some mythicals in Arena, and we found one here. So let's go ahead and see how we do against him. Just leave it on auto, see what happens. All right. Doing things, okay, smashing through, raining down, raining down on them, man. Yeah, it's pretty nice. What does score would do? Yeah, that, that freaking Marius, dude, nasty. Let's look for another one. Oh, here, we got another, got another, uh, we have Geralt here. I don't know if the team that I'm using is the best team that I could put together with Marius. I mean, it's working so far, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This brings him back, but of course, Marius is going to do his thing. Dude, that stun. That stun is beautiful. Uh-oh, Armand's. We can't let him live. And then, um... <laughs> dude, he does... He's just tickling us whenever we put Enfeeble on. It's a tickle. Let's see. We're going to keep it... Oh, I probably should have changed the speed lead here. Oh, oh no! I was like, oh, we should change the speed lead to, like, Arbiter because we're going to get outsped, but no. No. Uh... Cardiel was able to outspeed, so that's nice. Transforms, this is what we want to see every time somebody transforms. Uses the A1 there, doing the counterattacks. Sorry, Crixia. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we have a battle here, and we're going to be able to see what Marius can do for us. That's assuming that this Lady Kimmy doesn't outspeed us. And she does, never mind. But we brought Tormin in, so hopefully... Um, you know, he's able to freeze them. And you notice that she just tried to decrease our turn meter, so Marius responded 
by um, making sure that he uh, hit them with A1. Now we're able to hit the A2 and watch the stone skin come right off. Never mind, I lied. A1 again though. He's gonna self buff. He's gonna try and hit us both. Marius might actually go down. He's gonna live. So soon Wukong's gonna come back and we're able to smack. So that wasn't the best for Marius, that showcase, but you know, we'll, we'll do another one to show a better um, representation of what Marius can do. Cause that I just got into a fight where the guy picked Marius and nice. So I had to leave that fight. I dropped back down and this is the next fight. Okay, so we go first, we outspeed Arbiter. And I like doing ally attacks with, oh. Um, I was trying to say that I like doing ally attack champions with Marius because of his AoEs, but uh, I mean, I, I guess you just saw what happened, so. All right, we got Freya and Leo, and I actually wanted to see Leo here because when his unkillable comes up, we're gonna be able to see Marius take that unkillable away from him. So let's do our ally attacks against him and him. Okay, I thought the unkillable was going to come up, but I guess we're not doing enough damage. Probably a revive, right? I guess not. All right, so now we're going to increase self buff and then hit the AoEs. Unkillable goes on, but because uh, he removed it... Oh, 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 that's right, I forgot about Freya. Never mind. Oh, we get the counterattack up. That's cool. Yeah, so his unkillable came off. Or it went up and then it came off, but because of, but because of um, Freya, we were unable to ensure that Leo went down that time. So there's that. But let's hit the stuns if we can make it happen. Okay. So we were able to take down Leo, but we weren't able to take down the other guys. So we're gonna focus down on on Duchess for now. We also have to focus on Pythion here because he still has his revive ability up. So hit the A1. Ooh, Ar almost. Arbord almost went down there. And hit the A1. So as you can see, we're hitting quite hard. 43,000 against Pythion there. I don't even know what Freya uh, received. And then there you go. There you go. I fucked up here. I could have chosen Sun Wukong as my speed lead, but I chose Cardio. <laughs> Whoops. All right. So we have two champions here who are mythical champions. So I think... We might have a good show on our hands. We'll see. Either cleanse or revive. Okay, so did the cleanse. Let's just um, let's just try to take down Encore because she can be quite annoying. Now, if he transforms, we can see Marius pop off with his A1 ending Encora. What is he going to do? Okay, there we go. Now it's just him, but he revives too, I think, right? Oh, okay. I also saw somebody on Reddit do a team very similar to this one, where basically Marius will sort of solo the entire thing by himself because of his EMHP moves using Emic to keep everybody unkillable. All right, so let's go ahead and see how this does. We already know this first part is gonna be relatively easy to do because it's just a matter of getting through the waves. And as you can see, we're hitting for about 40s uh, somewhere in the 40s and 60s, Marius is doing his thing here. And then the stun's going off on whoever's got the turn meter. Again, very helpful. Uh, Gurgo does not want to go down. He's saying, I'm going to stay up even though I'm dead. He, he died standing. That's a very valiant effort on his end to try to be the coolest cat. Alright, getting through this. And feeble, so if anybody does try to hit us, they're going to weak hit. Nothing's going to happen to us. And I'll show you the presets for this pretty soon, too. Now, now this does require um, a very specific speed tune, where basically Emic is going to keep the taunt up. Or not the taunt, but the unkillable up the entire time. He's also decreasing the cooldowns of Kaimar and Yumiko, and they're resetting each other as well. That way, uh, we don't have to worry about getting one-shotted by... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the hard ice golem. Kind of iffy there, because if um, if we didn't have the revive up at that time, then uh, we would have definitely lost. But yeah, that's the way this runs. Again, it's not 100%. I could make it 100%, but I'm pretty happy with soloing using Artac already, so 
uh, I didn't really feel the need to uh, go ahead and, and redo an entire hard ice golem team. But if I ever get around to it one day, I'll, I'll make a dedicated video because it's a pretty interesting team. It's a pretty cool team. But basically, this is it. Now we're just waiting for, as long as everybody's got their unkillable up, we're good. And we're able to survive. All right, make sure nobody's getting frozen. We definitely don't want freezes going off. That guy is not moving. Uh-oh. Okay, everybody's still up. Uh-oh. This might not be a good one here. It might not It might not pan out the way we want it. We need unkillable. We need unkillable. Uh-oh. Give us unkillable. Okay, oh, okay. There's unkillable. So we're, I think we're, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Uh-oh, freeze. Freeze went off. We don't want freezes. Okay. 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 It's gonna happen. Marius! Do it, Marius! Marius! Come on! Yeah! I fucking did it, dude! And I was also able to replace Seer with Marius. Um, you could also keep Seer, Seer in here if you want, but I just took her out just to... I guess it's... It wasn't really necessary. I kind of just put Marius in for the heck of it. But it's like having another Newt, almost. So we go in... Place our debuffs, increase attack, increase defense. Newt goes in, does his thing. Spiders drop down. Cold Heart's doing one enemy max HP move, and then we swipe it up with um, Marius. Uh, you know, this isn't exactly necessary. Like, let's see what happens if we take out. Let's see what happens if we take out Cold Heart. Because, to my understanding, this should work even without her. Because it's basically two enemy max HP champions here. So Hex goes all the way around. Place our debuffs. Hit with Newt. That comes down. And yeah. So we don't even need to um, have Seer in here. In fact, this is a new time. This is a new time. 14 seconds, 4 turns. I was actually also able to speed up my uh, Sand Devil 25 team. Thanks to having Marius. So we place our debuffs. We make sure that we don't hit too many times because if we hit too many times then uh, he wakes up or the sand devil wakes up screwing everything up so we do this and then marius takes his turn one two three soul reap will come up or brimstone will come up and that is pretty much a wrap uh, sometimes faster sometimes slower kind of just Damn.